I would like to invite Richard Palmer, our CFO, to share with us the economics of the plan. Thank you, Eve, and good day to everyone. As my colleagues have outlined today, software is driving an unprecedented transformation in mobility, one that will progressively integrate flexible and customized mobility into our daily lives. For Stellantis, this transformation provides the opportunity to create even stronger bonds between our customers and our iconic brands and vehicles, enabling customers to upgrade and personalize their vehicles throughout their entire ownership experience. First, let's recap where Stellantis is today on its software and connected services journey. At the beginning of this year, we combined two very successful and experienced companies, both of which had iconic and diversified product portfolios. Both companies were in the process of expanding their software and connected services businesses, which included key offerings, and this transformation is now being accelerated. And we have a very solid foundation on which to build. We have 10 years of experience in connected services, approximately 12 million connected vehicles in customers' hands globally, and 400,000 customers currently subscribing to our connected services offerings. In 2021, our revenues from software-enabled services and features stand at around 400 million euros. To quantify the opportunity for a truly global mobility provider like Stellantis, some analysts estimate there will be a total addressable market for software-enabled mobility-related services of more than 200 billion euros by 2030. Now, let's recap the five pillars of software revenue opportunities that Mamta described earlier. Firstly, services and subscriptions. This includes categories such as safety and security, entertainment, navigation with live traffic and travel information, and remote operations. Next, features on demand, which can be turned on and off by the customer to cater for one-time or monthly needs, and which can also be regularly updated through OTA. And the third pillar is data as a service and fleet services, which includes features such as usage-based insurance and data collection for expanded services for fleet management. These three categories will all give rise to subscription-based revenues. The remaining two categories arise from the impacts that these new offerings will have on vehicle and mobility services revenues by improving our competitiveness, our price realization, and customer loyalty. In addition to revenue generation, software-defined vehicles will also facilitate cost reduction. Delivering upgrades and features with over-the-air updates will quickly become the norm for all customers and this OTA capability allows us to fix customer issues faster and at dramatically less cost than a service visit to a repair facility. By leveraging the additional vehicle data from our software-defined vehicles and more frequent and convenient over-the-air updates, by 2030, we expect to benefit from over 1 billion euros in annual cost savings. We envision significantly growing our software-enabled revenues between 2021 and 2030, particularly in the second half of the decade once our connected car park has, has access to more and more product content. We will also see a shift in the contribution of revenues from each of the five pillars. As I mentioned, today Stellantis has approximately 12 million connected vehicles across the globe, and the majority of the software-enabled revenues we generate come from content included at the vehicle sale. From 2024, we will start rolling out the new Stellar Brain electrical and software platform in our four Stellar vehicle architectures, and the number of monetizable connected vehicles will increase to approximately 26 million by 2026. The features and subscription-based services offered on our vehicles will also increase notably, leading to a revenue opportunity estimated at around 4 billion euros. Increases in new vehicle pricing and resale values will still account for more than half of our 2026 software-enabled revenues. However, the other categories will have begun to expand particularly revenues from data as a service and features on demand. And by 2030, the connected car park is expected to reach approximately 34 million vehicles. With this expanded car park built on the four common global architectures, we believe the software-related services inherent in our mobility offering could be worth incremental annual revenues of approximately 20 billion euros. These new revenue streams will drive strong margins, which will be accretive to our current adjusted operating income margins. And to be clear, 
these incremental revenues and accretive margins do not include revenue opportunities from Level 4 and Level 4 Plus autonomous driving. In this technology area, we continue to work with our partner Waymo in the development of Level 4 and Level 4 Plus equipped vehicles. As we make progress together, we will update the market. We believe that this opportunity can be a game changer for our LCV business and our customers globally. We are fully committed to becoming a leading sustainable mobility tech company and will execute on this transformation with more than 30 billion euros of planned investments in electrification and software through 2025 as we announced at our EV day in July. Above all, these software related services will create a priceless constant connection between Stellantis and our customers. Thanks for listening. I'll now turn it back to Eve. Thank you, Richard. Our business and tech teams are fully committed to execute these plans and eager to make it happen. We will be working at full speed to reach our 2030 ambition, a fleet of 34 million connected vehicles generating 20 billion euro of revenue at attractive tech margins. And we will be among the first to deliver those open tech platforms to our customers. We have now come to the end of what has been an intense presentation. Before I hand it back to our CEO, let me thank everyone at Stellantis who have worked hard through different time zones to build our strategy and start implementing it. They are not on the podium right now, but they make a true difference for our customers and for the company.